Diana might as well be one of the more known legends of Brawlhalla. I feel like a majority of players like her due to all the cool things about her in general. A lot of these things may be reasons to hate her for some players, but I think they're overall good. Personally, I love Diana. She was my first ever main when I played Brawlhalla on PC back in, what, August 2018? I only got her level 16 before swapping to Xbox in December, but I still had her level 30-ish on Xbox even. I never really mained her, but she was super fun. Main reason is her SIGs, of course. These SIGs are downright nasty in a good way. Bowen SIG is a super good dunking SIG and goes really good with some of Bo's moves. Like, seriously, you can kill super early with this. It's really wonky too, like if you use it on a wall for example, it'll send straight down. Personally, I think it's in need of a nerf. Sidesick also goes incredibly good with Bo's kit. It's just such a good SIG. Good hitboxing and everything. Downsig straight up grabs your opponent and throws him into the abyss. Once again, goes into Bo's kit super well and isn't too risky to use. Blaster Insig is pretty good for catching people in the air and it hits super hard too. Spacing it correctly and knowing how to use it is an amazing feeling. Sidesig I'm dare to say is our worst SIG, but it's still not that bad. You can use it to go pretty far and catch some people off guard if they aren't expecting you to approach. Even Gravity Cancel it works well too. Downsig serves the same purpose as Bows. I thought there was a big difference in them thinking about them together, but both actually send in the same direction. Blaster's Downsig kills a little slower and does a bit more damage, but that's about it. Overall, I would go with Bow's kit since its moveset flows with the SIGs much better. On to her tons of skins. I'll go through super quickly. I feel like Lion Guard is super underrated, probably because it's a chest skin. Besides that, Pool Party is my personal favorite and I love the SIG effects on Sold Bow and Diana. I also feel as if Demonkin and Elven Ranger are super underrated too. Amazing weapons and colors. Spellbreaker looks dope overall, and Bitten is super simplistic in a good way, and Laura Croft looks super clean. In the middle is Bitten Diana, Worm Slayer, Crypto Mage, and the other Laura Croft. Not much to say besides this Laura Croft being worse. Med tier consists of just Shadow Stalker. Having her face covered makes me not like it that much, but it's not entirely bad. Overall, Diana has amazing skins. Tier list wise, out of S, A, B, C, and D, I'd place Diana in a solid A tier. Diana is a pretty balanced legend in every way possible. She definitely has over the top SIGs, yes, but even then I feel like that's just how it's meant to be. They go so good with their kit that trying to rework them to make them not would be too much work. Even her stats are incredibly solid. And speaking of those, best stands for Diana would probably be any of them besides decks. Last time I checked there wasn't a super important 7 deck specific combo on bow or blasters. And 4 defense would kind of hurt to play, but that's just my opinion. Most people would likely play speed stance, but I like higher attack personally. Either way, her stats, along with bow and blasters being a good weapon combo in general, are a good reason people like her. Honestly, I remember a lot of people complaining about Diana play rate wise, although I scanned through a lot of the past patches and never really saw her in top 5. Top 10, yes, which is still considered really good, but I never saw it at an unhealthy percentage. I guess Boomy did main her a while back and got a lot of people playing her next to Mordex, and she does have probably the best bow and blasters kit in the game, so I see where it comes from. Honestly, Diana's one of the legends BMG nailed, design-wise, gameplay-wise, lore-wise even, and so on. If only every legend could be like her, but the idea of a perfect game is a far away thought. I would suggest playing her because she'd be fun to play, even if you aren't a big fan of blasters or bow like me. Seriously, I don't know how she ended up so high. Either way, that should wrap it up for this one. Be sure to vote a legend and keep on brawling. And here, Graf, this one's just for you.